Do it. Why they stun on us? Like we ain't fucking them up. Fuck them niggas, they know how we bum here. If I say it's up, then it's stuck. And we ain't squash no beef. I ain't send a message, I'm just catching bees. I ain't gonna diss them, but I won't smoke. I don't care if they want it with me. You too. What it do, man? This your boy Vinyl Man, and I'm back with another reaction video, man. Hey, as y'all see by the title, man, I got another video for you, man. I got another video for y'all. I told you, y'all get my last video, 20 likes, I'll bring y'all more videos like this. Y'all seen to like these type of videos, so I'm gonna keep bringing y'all more videos like this. Anyway, as y'all see by the title, man, we got the daily, we got the daily war in Camden, active gang versus 51st. This is something y'all been waiting on to bring out the video, no cast over new my channel. Make sure y'all niggas. Like this shit up, subscribe, and share this shit with everybody. Comment down below what y'all want to see next. I'm going to get on it. DBM Cartel, we finna take over this shit. Y'all just stay tuned and keep up. On folks, no great. I ain't got no time to waste, though. We finna get straight into this shit, though. And we got the wood. You know what time it is, man. Make sure y'all got y'all wood, y'all sheets, whatever. But throw the sheets away. It hit different. Anyway, we finna get straight into this shit, though. We on the road to 10K. Make sure y'all niggas subscribe to my channel and like this shit up, though. On folks, no great. Let's get straight into this shit, though. We got a lot of videos to do today. Hey. And I'm back uploading today, uh, February 1st. I'm back, I'm, I just started like a bitch. I'm back uploading today, so hey, y'all should be seeing some videos today. I don't know when I'm gonna drop this, but I'm recording it February 1st, so it's different. Two men have been stabbed to death in two separate attacks in Kentish Town in North London last night. The body of the first victim, believed to be in his late teens, was found a couple of hours before police discovered the second victim, Y'all be telling me I got to turn the volume up. It's up, nigga. Folks, the great. It's up, nigga. Late teens yeah. Was found a couple of hours before it's police up. discovered the second victim. Hold on, what she say? Her believed to be ass. in his late teens. Was found a couple of hours before police discovered the second victim, who's thought to be in his 20s. Camden, the heart of fashion and culture in London, with some of the most expensive house prices and biggest tourist attractions in England. And from the outside in, it looks like the perfect place to live. But that's what the government wants to show you. Once we go deeper into the lower income estates of the borough, we start to see a different story. A story of the country's most deprived estates in London being separated from roads of millionaires literally by one street. And how these estates have created a deadly... Everywhere, I think the I think niggas with money just be trying to separate themselves from the niggas without money, folk. Like, just imagine a nigga from your community, they get some money. Do you think they gonna come back and go fix that community? Hell no, they gone. That's the problem with the world right now. They they ain't trying to fix nothing. They just trying to go. They trying to they trying to they 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 leave shit fucked up and go somewhere else where it's better at. It's different. This shit crazy. The gang the world which has taken over the borough in recent years. But before I get into the video, be sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications. Let's get into the video. On um, bro, Gray, y'all gotta subscribe to my channel, man. We trying to hit 10k. We really trying to hit 50k. Then we trying to hit 100k, man. That's all I'm gonna say. It hit different. Hey, it's just me. Y'all don't see nobody behind me. Y'all don't see who y'all see behind me. It's just me. I ain't got no team, folks. Y'all don't. Y'all don't see me. Communicating with too many niggas, but I don't communicate with nobody really though. Hit different. Shout out to my supporters though. Y'all niggas keep me going. Cause I ain't gonna lie. This full week, G, I ain't gonna lie that they're like 25 plus videos, G. If I ain't fuck with y'all, G, it ain't when they uh gave me that strike on my channel and I couldn't upload for a week, I would have just said fuck it and just you know, when about my day, but I kept bringing y'all videos, folks. So these bitches coming. So when y'all see these videos, the videos y'all been waiting on too. Just stay tuned, folks. <laughs> So Camden is a borough in northwest London and is very, very close to the central. Hey, I don't know why the fuck that set of film breaking me out, so I gotta find me some di some some different facial cleaner, folks. That that set of field breaking me the fuck out. London. I ain't even gonna lie. That set of so close to the rich central. If, if you know some motherfucking hey, a lot of niggas don't wash their ass or face, so I can't ask a lot of niggas. But hey, if you know about your hygiene, folks, you know about facial clean cleansers, folks. I need me a new one. I've been using the Cetaphil, folks. It ain't working, folks. I got the CeraVe um, body lotion and shit, folks. But that Cetaphil facial cleaner, that shit ain't working, folks. That shit ass. To me, it's just breaking me out. I'll find some different shit. 
So Camden is a borough in northwest London and is very, very close to the centre of London. But despite the area being so close to the rich centre of the capital, in the last few years, the war in the area has been going brazy. So historically, unlike neighbouring areas like Islington and Brent, Camden's beef situation hasn't been as active as others. But this all changed around 2016 when a man from Camden called Merce had his watch stolen. He looked angry. Leave him alone. He looked like he a butt. He looked like he just be ready for a nigga to try him. He got his watch stolen. But this all changed this, around 2016. Why always still watch from Camden called Merce had Now now I know now I know not to ever buy no watch or chain. They could just be out here snatching watches and chains, bro. I ain't gonna buy no watch or chain, bro. What, what you gonna try to snatch my dreads, bro? Here, there, man. You, I'm, you, you, you won't reach, you gonna. And his watch stolen from another man from another area in Camden. After this, there was some back and forth, which was always a big rivalry in the yeah, public, literally between been groups of kids that time. grew up together. One side being gangs built up from a few estates in Camden, which were the Peckwater Gang from the Peckwater Estate, the QC Gang, which were from a road in Camden called Queen's Crescent, and Combo, which is a gang made up from an estate called Regent's Park in Cumberland Market. They linked up together and called themselves 51st, due to their postcodes. 51st Peckwater QC Combo. Okay, Park in Cumberland Market. They linked up together and called themselves 51st due to their postcodes being in NW1 and NW5, which is where the 5 and the 1 come from. And from the other side of the feud, we have a gang called Active Gang, where some people may know from their songs. And they're from the Ager Grove estate. I know, I heard, Campbell, I heard a little bit about Active Gang are affiliated with another gang called CT1 and NRB, which they all linked up and called. 71st Active Gang, NRB, CT1. It's a lot of gangs. It'd be a lot of niggas clicking up. The active gang are affiliated with another gang called CT1 and NRB, which they all linked up and called themselves 71st. And just like that, the war was now on between 51st and 71st over this war. That seemed like it's far as fuck from each other, 51st and 71st. That's a long, that seems like it's so far away if you ask me. But I'm on so the outside looking in, I don't know nothing about that. a big Somalian community, with a big portion of them residing in Ago Grove, which is the territory of the 71st gang. Such a big community that the majority of 71st members are actually Somalian. And if you watch one of my previous videos on Mali Street, Somalian people are people you don't want to be messing with. Which you are... Hey, I ain't gonna lie, that's the next video I'm finna do, I ain't gonna lie. So right after this one, I had that one right next, so that's coming soon too. I probably should have did that one first, but I ain't know. It hit different. So, no. And if you watch one of my previous videos on Mali Street, Somalian people are people you don't want to be messing with, which you will understand more in this video. And this beef was on go from early. In 2017, two members of the AG gang, which represent 71st, executed a triple shooting on three 51st members. Two of the members... Three men treated into the hospital for bullet wounds after reports of Camden, Camden Town shooting. Damn, they was getting active, bro. Oh, what the fuck? I see why they call this stuff active gang. Hold on, man. Which represents 71st, executed a triple shooting on three 51st members. Two of the members ran to a nearby hospital, but while hospital staff was treating the two members, they also called police to the hospital to investigate the situation. Once the two realized the police was called, they didn't even care about their treatment anymore and attempted to run out of the hospital while still having bullet wounds lodged in them. But the police. What they tried to run out the hospital, they knew they was going to jail, bro. They was gonna get, they was either gonna snitch. No, nah, they was gonna snitch, bro. Somebody was gonna snitch. They didn't want to snitch, bro, so they tried to run. They ain't get away though. The treatment anymore, and attempted to run out of the hospital while still having bullet wounds lodged in them. But the police ended up detaining them and arresting them after a struggle between the both. The reason they wanted to run was because all three members are actually wanted for suspicion of grievous bodily harm, which all three were eventually arrested for. Now, of course, 51st weren't happy about this triple shooting, and they were trying to get it back in blood. So they went lurking on the Ager Grove estate and shot around. Right... How you gonna put dark in that bitch? This triple shooting, and they were trying to get it back in blood. So they went lurking on the Ager Grove estate and shot a rival in the face of a shotgun. The rival actually managed to survive and make his own way back to hospital. What a nigga caught a headshot and survived, but he got up. What the fuck? Only if you that. It's your ass up if you don't ride with us. I'm happy about this triple shooting and they were trying to get it back in blood. So they went lurking on the Ager Grove estate and shot a rival in the face of a shotgun. The rival actually managed to survive and make his own survive, way back to hospital. Oh. But this beef really kicked off in a situation that wasn't even... My friend used to pay a hundred... Bitch, I don't give a fuck. Okay, that. <laughs> it's crazy, so yeah, they...
to both of the gangs. So on February 2017, a 16-year-old girl had an Airbnb party in Kensington, West London. You know those type of parties where a girl invites seven different types of gangs and asks people to leave their beef at home? Yeah, one of those. So I Yeah, I, I never understood that. How the fuck is a female gonna have a party and say everybody's invited? How the fuck is everybody invited knowing that knowing you live, you fuck with these niggas and these niggas that don't fuck with each other? Man, you know that's some oobin. Oob. That bitch, that bitch CP3, she throwing lives to Blake and DeAndre. She is crazy, folks. Parties where I go invite seven That's different why I don't go to house party. people to leave that their shit home. Yeah, up. one of those. So at this party, there were people from all over London there. But a few uninvited guests tried to pull up to the party. One of these people being a boy from 51st called Dotty and his friend. He pulled up to the party with a gun and knife looking for trouble. But the night turned left for Dotty and his friend. And ended up with Dotty being chased down by 20 young boys. And when the boys... That nigga was getting chased by the track team. It's crazy, fo. Them niggas were chasing him with masks on 20 deep. It's crazy. Why the fuck is y'all chasing? At least they wasn't shooting 20 deep, fo. Imagine being 20 deep and shooting at one person. But no, they were trying to... I don't know what they were trying to do. I ain't going to speak on the situation, but I don't know what the fuck was going on. They were trying to... <laughs> scream. They was on some scream type shit, fo. Called Dotty and his friend. He pulled up to the party with a gun and knife looking for trouble. But the night turned left for Dotty and his friend and ended up with Dotty being chased down by 20 young boys. And when the boys caught up to him, they stabbed him 13 times altogether. It actually resulted in Dotty dying, which four 16 year old boys from Hackney and Tottenham were sentenced and convicted for. So 51st of Dotty dying, which four six. The one all the way to the right, bro. You know, you got the dark ass one to the left. He, he, I don't even leave him alone. He looked like he just crash out. Leave him alone. The one on the right looked like he was just crying, folk. But he looked, he looked, he looked like he want to pop a smirk. But he looked like he, he was just crying or something. His eyes were as shit. Unless he was high, but. Boys caught up to him, they stabbed him 13 times altogether. That should result in Dottie dying, with four 16 year old boys from Hackney and Tottenham were sentenced and convicted for. So 50 first were mad about this situation, obviously, that their member Dottie was just stabbed to death. So they were out trying to get revenge. So they went out for revenge in a stolen BMW and travelled all the way from Camden in North West London to Hackney in East London and then to Tottenham in North London because that's where the people who killed Dottie were from. Nigga, you, they was making trips, bro. They was going all around London, folks. That was, that that's crazy work right there, if you ask me. To Hackney in East London, and then to Tottenham in North London. What? Because that's where the people who killed Dottie were from. But they ended up finding no one from both areas. But they weren't trying to go home without spilling some blood first. So 51st went all the way back to Camden to look for 71st members. And found an affiliate member of 71st called AK and killed him. But they weren't done there. They were riding for a whole another two hours looking for more 71st members. And found the 71st member called Mitch is look- Mitch. I mean, my prayers go out to these families, though. I don't think none of this shit cool, folks. Just because I react to this shit, I don't think none of this shit cool. If you ask me, the killing needs to stop. This shit needs to stop everywhere. But this shit been going on for how long? How long is how long has killing been happening, folks? Like, let, let's be serious, folks. How long has shit been happening, folks? Even before we was around, for this shit was been happening, folks. This shit been happening since, you know. I don't think this shit gonna ever stop, man. It needs to stop, folks. The world would be a better place if you ask me. An affiliate member of Stopped 71st violence. called AK and killed him. But they weren't money. done there. They were riding for a whole nother two hours looking for more 71st members. Dang, he ain't put this shit on the earth for just me. He put this shit on for both of us, folks. On folks in grave. Y'all gotta, gotta get y'all shit together, folks. Them. But they weren't done there. Like they kids, were riding like 15, for a whole nother two 14, hours looking 13, for more 71st 16. members. Go to the school. Go to school. Go to school. Mitch's little brother. Mitch's little brother attempted to run into a cab and begged the driver to drive him to safety. But the driver refused to move and he was dragged out of the cab and stabbed to death by 51st members. All within two hours of their See, that's the problem. The cab driver should just drove the fuck off, folk. Got that boy stabbed to death, folk. He should, damn, the cab driver.
Peace to me. And he was dragged out of the cab and stabbed to death by 50 first members. All within two hours of their first murder they committed that night. And six members were sentenced to life for these murders. Then on September 4th, 2017, a member from 51st called Phillips and the older brother of the second boy who died that night called Mitch bumped into each other on Hampstead Road in Camden and started getting into a little altercation, which ended with Phillips stabbing Mitch in his arm, neck and back, leaving the knife lodged into Mitch's bones and murdering him. An undercover Why people just happened stabbing? to witness this whole situation and ran down Phillips and arrested him and now Phillips is serving 17 years to life for this murder after this the beef in Camden went under some serious investigation by police and members from all sides started to get taken down for conspiracies firearms and drug charges and the beef started to die down a bit but then 2019 hit and quite a lot of the members that were locked up started to come out and taking in consideration that 51st members just before everyone started going in prison and killed three 71st members 71st members started coming out of yeah, prison they, on some they just killing each other back to back Damn, Everyone crazy, started going in prison and killed three 71st members. 71st members started coming out of prison on some demon time and were most definitely looking for revenge with no warnings. The first they sign that 71st was to really jail. back was on a cold Tuesday in February. 1am in the morning, a 51st member called G Squeeze was walking past the Sainsbury's in Camden when a 4x4 crashed into him and several 71st members jumped out on him like a pack of wolves, stabbing him repeatedly in his head and body, leaving him literally paralyzed. A four by four? What the fuck is let me hold on, I got my tablet, folks. What the fuck is a four by four, bro? What the fuck is a four by four? Hold on, I gotta look this shit up. Hold on. Hold on. Yo. That's a pretty big why the fuck? Y'all ran him over in a four by four truck, it's crazy. Walking past the Sainsbury's in Camden, when a 4x4 crashed into him and several 71st members jumped out on him like a pack of wolves, this him in the head? repeatedly in his head and body, leaving him literally paralyzed and not being able to walk. But that wasn't enough for 71st members. They wanted someone dead for their friends. So on April 1st, 2019, a suspected member of 51st called C. Miz and his cousin were walking down Grafton Road in Gospel Oak, Camden, when four 71st members jumped out a stolen black car and started chasing them. C. Miz and his cousin split up, but unfortunately the men who jumped how the car locked on to see Miz and see Miz ended up dropping to the ground when the 71st member started to stab him repeatedly with machetes and then run from the scene. After this murder, 71st members made a song called Congo and the reason why they called it Congo is because see Miz was actually a refugee from Congo after him and his family fled the war from over there and members repeatedly in their songs say that they get their weed from Congo not Cali. Pretty much just trying to say that they're smoking on see Miz and as I said before, the majority of these 70... Y'all UK niggas, y'all niggas Y'all niggas a little bit too, too, too crazy for me, folks. Y'all too crazy for me, so I ain't gonna lie, folks. I don't know what the fuck y'all be thinking in y'all head. I don't know what be popping up in niggas' brains to just go stab a nigga in their head. It's crazy. Ah. <laughs> oh, fuck, Ray. Ah. The first members are Somalian. So after all this, they were going about there, in Camden. These niggas alone. The first members were out on the look, and any Somalian they see, they're killing. Oh, them were the Somalians doing that shit. So I heard, okay, leave them niggas alone. Leave the Somalians alone, because I don't know what they think. And they dangerous, bro. I don't know what the fuck going on, bro. Damn. Strong intelligence that there is going to be revenge for Calvin's killing. And his friends are, have literally said they are going to go out and kill any Somali in retaliation. So I just want to make that really clear. This is from a young Somali woman in Camden who's 24 years old and basically they are basically we um strongly suspect they're going to go out tonight and kill a Somali. which is probably a bit of a stretch but on the other hand 71st members kept saying that they're warring with jaleers which is basically the somali word for west african people because you have to remember despite somalias being dark-skinned and african a lot of somalias don't really see themselves the same as other black people so this was kind of turned into a race war between somali and the black people in wait so somalians are like just basically uh Africans, right? So they don't think they black people. I just I ha I don't I can't speak on the see I don't want I don't I don't feed into shit like that cause I fuck with all races. I don't give a fuck what race you is, nigga. I don't, I don't fuck with you. I don't give a fuck what you is. You fuck with me, I fuck with you. Right? It, it, it goes both it goes both ways, bro. That race car shit dead, bro. All that race car shit dead, bro. Niggas be trying to use that race car for if you, I don't give a fuck what you is. 
so it's the same as other black people. So this was kind of turned into a race war between Somali and the black people in Camden, which is just all wrong for so many reasons. But 71st weren't happy enough with the killing of Miz. They wanted to spill more blood. So August 12th, 2019, six members started circling the states of 51st members in a stolen Ford Fiesta and a stolen Sia. When they spotted 16 year old culprit and other members coming out of a restaurant around 10.30 p.m. Culprit and other members ran to a nearby set of blocks near Houston Road. But 71st members found them later on that night and three members jumped out and chased them down, catching up to the 16-year-old 51st member called Culprit. Culprit was running for his life and literally screaming for help, banging on neighbors' doors to let him in so he could escape his attackers. But when the 71st members caught up to him, two 71st members held him, while a third member repeatedly pushed a one-foot-long zombie killer knife through his chest. Like, oh no, oh my gosh. We ain't even got those held him while a third member I, repeatedly I pushed a one foot long zombie killer knife through his chest while it was coming out of his back and when the 71st members were done the killers were said to be running away after laughing hysterically which is what bystanders said and culprit he was just any normal kid from london he was talented at football and even had trials for southampton football club but started getting involved in the local gang of brass decided football and unfortunately became a victim of the street that's now, just as sad back oh, he had talent in sports 51st were now it. looking for revenge on their recent elves and there were many stabbings across the mouth and early on in September, there was a case of three killings in five days in Camden. One of these being a man from a completely different area all the way in East London. But unfortunately, he was walking at the wrong place at the wrong time. So he was actually walking on Queen's Crescent Estate, which is a hotspot for 51st members, and was shot and killed in a drive-by, being mistaken for a 51st member. Just an hour before, another woman was stabbed. That's the problem, G. Just because a motherfucker live in that area do not mean they with that shit, folks. They not with that. Just because somebody living in the area, bro, don't mean they with that shit. Y'all kids is crazy. Y'all niggas gonna be having no type of structure, bro. Where the structure at nowadays? Y'all should know better. Stop shooting these older people and these kids, bro. Do not shoot where kids at. Do not shoot where older people at, bro. Y'all shouldn't be shooting and killing at all, if you ask me, but... King killed in a drive-by, being shit. mistaken for a 51st member. Just an hour before, another woman was stabbed to death just a few hundred yards from the situation. And four days later, a 71st member called Nuts was stabbed to death by a gang of 51st members with machetes. Outside one of the busiest areas in London, Camden Tube Station. And for the longest, a lot of people didn't even know all this stuff was going on. Until a 71st member called Suspect started jumping on the drill scene, calling himself... Okay, so su Suspect is from 71st. He's a, he a Somalian. This stuff was going on. That's why Member called suspect shit. started he jumping on the drill scene, calling himself the Camden Grim Reaper and releasing some of the most disrespectful tunes towards his ops. So much that police take down pretty much any song that the gang uploads, which really started to bring some attention to what's happening down there and definitely got the attention of me. Especially a song from Suspect called Dugout, which is probably one of the most disrespectful songs I've ever heard and really makes you deep how tapped this whole beef is. Damn, they can take down songs out there? I didn't even know motherfuckers, the police can take down songs. Motherfuckers can't drop music? Disrespectful songs I've ever heard and really makes you deep how tapped this whole beef is. In one of his lines, he says, Same place you used to play run out, this same place is just got dug out. Same place I was telling you play out, this same place I'm telling you come out. Which really makes you think, damn, these guys were close friends at one time and now they're trying to kill each other. All stemming from a little small altercation that happened a couple years back. But anyway, guys, that's it for today's video and peace out. Hey. Hey, that's the end of that video right there. Hey, if y'all fuck with that shit, go check it out. If not, go about y'all day. But the original link will be in the description. I told y'all. Y'all want to see more videos like this, man. Get this shit to 20 likes, man. And I'll bring y'all this shit. But anyways, more reactions coming soon. Y'all just stay tuned. And like this shit up, though. Bitch-ass niggas.